I thought I was home free, right? Going to the next route, trying to train my Pokemon a bit, and then nope, Bianca sneaks up behind me and she's like, Golly, I gotta talk to you. So let's let's see what she has to say. Oh hey, that's the Driftville City Gym badge. Oh that's totally cool, that's amazing. No, no. I can't distract being all impressed by your shiny new badge. I'm also a trainer. At times like this, you battle, right? Okay, so I guess I'm battling Bianca. She about to get owned. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. It's go time. Bianca's about to get like 4 0 would right now. Alright, she has a normal type. Fine by me. I'll just change Pokemon. Golly Jr., not the best against the. Uh, a physical normal type so let's go to champ see what he's doing because definitely champ is a stud against normal types we all know this folks he has fighting moves and it just completely tears normal types up so he's the best thing to use right now no one cares about your special attack god all right here's here's champ's new move brick break it's kind of like Karate Chop, but like 10 times more. Yeah! Look at that! One hit, super effective. That was amazing. Mush Arana. Um, I kind of want to look this Pokemon up. Hold on. Uh, where is it? Mush. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a normal type too. You know what? Champ, just stay in there, man. You're gonna own. Don't you worry about that. Look at that. It looks like a... It looks like a baby that was just born. That's creepy as hell. Champ, use Brick Break! Okay, that didn't do shit. Um... <laughs> okay, I forgot. He's a Psychic type. I thought it was a normal type for a second. But now I realize it's a Psychic type. So... Luckily for me, I have the perfect thing to counter a Psychic type. Champ, come back! Go, Bob! Look at that. Oh, God, Bob is such a beast. No! No! You would put him to sleep. Ah, why? Now I gotta use something from my bag on him. Status restores. Recovers from poison. Recovers from burn. Come on, I gotta have something that wakes him up here. There we go. Chesto berry. Golly, use the Chesto berry. Bob woke up. Yeah. I think this Pokemon is just gonna keep raising its defense and putting me to sleep. That's pretty pathetic. Alright, let's see how Bite does. Our Crunch. Crunch is a little bit stronger. Let's see how this does. Look at that. Super effective, and it only did that much. And Bob's attack is through the roof, too. That just shows you how much defense this Pokemon has. It's freaking crazy, man. Let's use Crunch again. Ah, oh, one hit! No! No, yes! Bob avoided the attack! He would have put me to sleep right there, but, uh... Fortunately, I had... A freaking... Stealthy dodge there. Alright, this is gonna take a while since the defense is through the roof. I can see me getting a lot of XP for this, though. Hypnosis. Yes, Bob avoided the attack again. You stud. One more. One more freaking hit. Come on. No. Yes, yes, yes. Use defense curl. All right, I should be good to go. Come on, Bob. You got this. You got this. Use crunch. No, I propose you, new whore. Bianca, stop doing this shit. It's pissing me off. Come on. This is like the fourth time I've had to take the attack. I mean, your health the whole way down. Like, this is getting a little bit ridiculous now. I hate when trainers do this. And I go to sleep again. Oh, I had to use both my Chesto Berries in the same, like, fight. This is freaking retarded. Status restores. Chesto Berry. Come on. It's go time. I'm sick of this defense curl crap. He's about to get owned. Bob, no, you're fighting. Come on, let's do this. Crunch. You got this, Bob. No. No, no. Yes. Yes, it didn't use Hyper Potion. I am saved. I am saved. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Yes. 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 Sit down. 
Give me that XP. It better give me like 2,000 for this. Seriously better. And Bob's attack rose. Sweet. Bob gained 500 XP. Champ gained 500 XP. So I really only got a little over 1,000. Hold on. Pants Sage. Pants Sage is, uh... Pants Sage is the grass one. Alright, so I'm going to switch to Golly Jr. Because Golly Jr. rapes the crap out of grass Pokemon. Go, Golly Jr. Alright, let's go. One air cutter should do the trick. And... Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't kill it the whole way. Don't worry, I still got another, uh... Another round to do my best. There we go, air cutter. And sit down, Pants Sage. Next Pokemon. Pignite. Yes, I want to switch Pokemon. Pignite is fire, so... Dewatt versus Pignite sounds like a plan to me. Pignite actually looks pretty cool, too. Take a look at it here in a second. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's use Water Pulse. This'll do some work. Ooh, super effective. Yeah, buddy. Pignite. You mad? Water Pulse again. Let's do it. Yes! Pignite, you are no match for Dewatt. How much XP? This better give me like 1,500. 1,000? I'm getting ripped off with XP. Usually against your rivals, you get like tons of XP for taking out their Pokemon. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Golly. You've become totally stronger, huh? I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way tuned into how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I want to show you with this HM, Golly. Fly! Yes, Golly obtained Fly. Oh my god. Wow, finally. Alright. I'm gonna teach, uh... Well, you guys, are, if you've been following this Pokemon series, you probably already know what Pokemon I'm about to teach this to. Um, items, key items, there we go, it should be in here. You know what? Can I teach Rock Tomb to, uh... Yes! I can teach Rock Tomb to Champ. This is boss. Alright, that does 50 damage, 30, 60, 75, 50. Um, double kick is good though. Low sweep. I don't know which is better. Ah! What one do I keep? I want to teach him a rock move. Alright, you know what? Let's use... Alright, I'm going to have to pick one of them. It's going to have to happen eventually. So I'm just going to forget uh, double kick. Alright. Now, time to use fly. Use. Yes, I want to teach Fly to a Pokemon. Hell yeah, Golly Jr. Uh, let's forget. 90 damage. Oh my god, that is going to be amazing. Um, let's forget Gust. Gust is pretty pointless. And Quick Attack can still be helpful to, like, just make a Pokemon that I'm trying to catch a little bit weaker. So, I'm always going to keep Quick Attack there for a bit. Hello, Pokeball! Oh my god! Golly, found an Ultra Ball. Sweet! Alright, so. We are on our journey on Route 6 right now. And I think where I need to go next is Charge Stone Cave. And if I'm correct, Charge Stone Cave is where I'm going to catch my next Pokemon for my team! Yeah! And the first step I take, I get into a battle. Wow. Okay! Golly Jr., do your best. Golly Jr. is actually probably gonna probably gonna level up on this uh, on this route because he evolves at level 32, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to level him up to level 32 by the end of this route. Oh, wild Pokemon, huh? You wanna mess with me, huh? Golly Jr. will pwn you. I don't even need to use Fly, I can use Air Cutter and it's still a one hit. 
bug Pokemon for the loss. Hey, trainer. Scientist William. Deerling. Oh god, I'm so intimidated. I'm scared. Mommy, please hold me. I can't take the side of this deerling. It's too cute. <laughs> X defend. The heck? Well, I'm using fly. So good luck with whatever you're doing there, dearling. Look at that. Super effective, too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Air cut off. Sit down. 12 hundo. Holy cow. Alright, bag. Yeah, I'm gonna need a, a potion there for, for Golly Jr. All better. Hey. Wanna fight my... Aw, oh, you don't wanna fight my Pokemon. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, nothing's down there. Oh, no, wild Pokemon. Let's use Fly. Let's see how Fly does against Ice. I'm kind of curious. I have a feeling it's going to do really, really badly, though. And... That was like the opposite of bad. A one hit. So, that was a win. And here we go. Pokemon Ranger time. I love fighting these people because they always give us, uh... Like berries and stuff, like Chesto berries. Electric. Oh god. Electric versus flying. This isn't gonna be good. I gotta use fly so I just completely avoid her attack. Or she could use double team, that works too. Double team, no! Watch this. That Pokemon's gonna be too fast and I'm gonna miss. Watch. Oh, oh, never mind. My Pokemon's pretty fast. Quick attack! Alright, quick attack is probably the best thing in my arsenal right now against this thing. Because uh, the rest of my moves won't be fast enough to hit it. And quick attack is always a hit. So there we go, 1000 XP for that. I wasn't expecting that. No, I didn't want to use quick attack that time. Oh, that worked actually. <laughs> Don't know how. Alright, here we go. Quick attack. Finish this dealing off. There we go. Critical hit. Thank you, Shanty. Thanks for the money, too. Watch this berry. Do you know much about this berry? Hmm, who called that? I wonder. Golly obtained the cherry berry. A bug Pokemon. fight and let's use air cutter finish this bug off really quick there we go free xp me likey me likey oh, this lady was just like kind of staring off into the ocean I had to bring her back to reality there Tim pole hmm tyne pole t-y-n pole such a creative name One more. One more air cutter and I'll do the trick. Yes. Yes. Time pole, sit down. Another time pole? Time pole. I think this is the only Pokemon that this Lur this girl has. I almost said Lural. What? That made no sense. I like using Golly Jr.'s Roost move just because it's kind of like a mobile Pokemon Center. Like, it's pretty dope. Oh, I'm so close to level 31! Yeah! Critical hit after critical hit. Level 31, guys. One more level and he evolves. Fight. Air Cutter. Hey, it's worked the first four times, why not do it again? Look at that, another critical hit. Amazing. Hello! The scientist Ron! 
Deerling. Oh, this thing. Okay. It's not like I fought this 20 times or anything. Deerling. Let's use Fly. That seemed to work against you the first time. Ah, <laughs> one hit. One hit for the win. Alright, let's see what's in this house. Hi. Okay, so that guy basically wants me to find a deerling for some reason. And I'm kind of just like, eh, no, I got better things to do, bro. <laughs> I'm not your little, like, slave that'll just go out and catch you deerlings. Like, are you for real right now? Hyper Potion, I could use that. Anything? No, I can't even go behind the house. Okay. See a Pokeball. I will capture you, Pokeball. What is that? That's a Pokeball itself. Fungus. It looks like fungus. Holy cow. That is the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. Like, in the history of every single Pokemon. Like, why would you even create that? And it's super effective. Wow. That thing's terrible. Elixir. I don't know what that does. But, uh, I think it's some sort of medicine, obviously. I'll find out later. In the meantime, let's battle the scientist. Deerling. Deerling, deerling, deerling. God, they love getting pwned by my fly move, don't they? No. No. Deerling avoided the attack. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, at least I avoided the attack. Yeah! Critical hit, too. Thanks for the money! Come again. Alright, so... Oh, God, that's one of those Pokemon! Wow! They can be disguised as Pokeballs in the grass. That is crazy. And it's still a one hit. Epic fail. Alright guys, if I'm right, this could be the battle that Golly Jr. evolves. Right here, right now. It might go down. Valonite. Renalit. Whatever. Here we go, fly. Let's do it! Yes! Crickle hit! I don't think I've ever seen this Pokemon. Whoa, that looks creepy. That looks like it's... Ugh, I don't even know. <laughs> Some of these Pokemon nowadays are just kind of messed up. Like, Deerling, are you serious? Did they really run out of that many ideas? That they had to make a deer Pokemon? Like, they already made Stantler back in the day. Like, why did they need a new one? Oh well. One more battle, and I level up. Let's do it! Here we go, final battle! It's a deerling too! Oh god! Air cutter! Yes! Level 32! Level 32! Yes! Air slash! Oh hell yeah, you're forgetting to move for air slash! Let's go! How much damage does air slash do? Let's see. Air slash! 75 damage! Okay, um, I'm feeling Air Slash over Air Cutter. Yeah, it's going down. Oh, here we go. Golly Jr. is evolving. It's happening. It's freaking happening, finally. He's been with me since day one.
Unpheasant. Yeah, buddy. Unpheasant for the win. Now, remember at the beginning of the game when I was trying to capture a male one? The reason is so it could have that, like, long red... Long, like, red, uh, hair streak to it. Because I felt like that one looked cooler than the female version. So I figured, why not just get the male since its final evolution looked a bit cooler. Alright, let's go, Golly Jr. Let's see. Let's see how you are. Look at that. His health increased to 98. And he looks like a stud out there. Let's try Air Slash. Boss. Boss! This move makes people flinch. Holy cow. Emolga. Yeah, I'll keep him out there. He's doing work right now. Let's use Air Slash again. That's not... Look at that. It says not very effective and it did over... Half of its health damage. Like, that's crazy. No, 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 no. No. This can't be happening. Alright, I gotta use Quick Attack. Well, screw it. Let's use Roost. Get my health back up a bit. Mobile Pokemon Center for the win. Look at that. 95. Fight. Golly Jr., use Quick Attack! Yeah! No, I got paralyzed in the process. That's a fail. At least I got 1,000 XP from it, right? Good for something. Okay, so. Uh, let's go to the bag. I think I have something there to heal. Paralyzed. Yes, I do. Okay. Now that, uh... Hold on, what's good against electric? Because I'm about to go into an electric cave. I need to find out quick. Electric. Ground. Ooh. -hoo 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 -hoo. Guess what I just taught, uh... Guess what I just taught Champ? I taught him a... A ground move. <laughs> or, uh... A rock move, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let's see that again. Ground. Ah, oh, rock doesn't. Yo. Wow. Okay, I was completely wrong right there. Um, looks like the only Pokemon that I have that'll be good against ground. I mean, that'll be good against electricity is Bob. Because Bob is a boss. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh! Pokemon Center for the win! What is this dude? Yeah, that's random. Okay. I like how they have flat screens in Pokemon, though. Legendary Pokemon. I just need Surf and I'll make that happen, no problem. Bug Pokemon. Ah, uh, scratch that. I just run away. I'm so close to the cave. Why? It's just I like, kind of stop now. And there we are. We're at the cave. Hey, it's Clay. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Ha 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 Ha. Don't know why there's a nest here, but if there are folks having problems, the gym leader's the one to fix it. What happened to police? What? What happened to society with police that would do things? Gym leaders do that now? Are you serious? Alright. Bulldoze? He just gave me bulldoze. I want to see what that does. Or how much damage it does, to be precise. Bag moves. Bulldoze. Use. Able. I can teach Bob Bulldoze. I'm gonna do that. Bulldoze does 60 damage. Sandtomb does 35. You know what? Sandtomb, get out of here. You know what? I'm gonna teach Bulldoze to, uh... I'm gonna teach Bulldoze to Champ, too.
Alright, um, I'm either gonna delete Karate Chop or Low Sweep. I know Karate Chop says it does less damage, but it, it gets a lot of critical hits. So honestly, I think Karate Chop's the best one to keep. Alright, so now that, uh, now that Champ actually has a good, good move, I can use him. Nice, nice, nice. And here we are, we're in the Electric Cave. Oh, these guys, these ninjas. My Lord N, we brought the one you wanted. Ah, yes. That was the shadow trade. Just now. Janeth de Haoha unlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently they were the ones who prepared... The I can't even pronounce this shit, screw it. At the cave entrance. Charged Stone Cave, I like this place. Formulas expressed electricity and its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be an ideal place. You have been s chosen. You know, does that surprise you that I said that? No, frick, I'm golly. What you talking about, fella? I told you. <laughs> okay, what is, what is this guy's name? G-H-E-T-S-I-S. Get, get sis, get sis. I told get sis about you and your friends. After I did, he apparently used the shadow trade to find out about you. Charon is pursuing the ideal of strength. Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that not everyone can become stronger. And you are not swayed either way, more of a neutral presence. Which is apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be, will be waiting for you ahead. Pokemon Trainer, you really are. Okay. That was creepy. Whoa, whoa. My first Pokemon encounter. Look at that thing, Joltik. That looks pretty boss. Let's let's see how Bulldoze does. Let's try Rock Tomb. Try not Champ's new moves here. Nice. Nice Champ. Doing work on these electric types. Now the reason I'm not uh actually trying to repel the Pokemon in this episode like I normally would because I got I got repels for days like you don't even understand the reason I'm not using it right now is because I want to capture a Pokemon in this cave I forget its exact name but uh, as soon as you see it on your screen trust me you'll know because I'll be like yes yes oh my god I found it yeah you, you'll, you'll know trust me <laughs> not very effective doesn't matter still made him faint and champ is level 30 now like a boss And ah, oh, that's not it. That Pokemon looks weird as hell. Clink, clink, clink. Super effective. That's my kind of move. Bianca, what are you doing in this cave? You crazy? Golly, did you know this? The floating stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? And Professor Juniper is here too. Hi there, how are you, Golly? This place is always charged with lots of electricity that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear because I'm researching the originals, origins of Pokemon, and the era they appeared. He knows how to get what he wants from people, but I was already interested in this anyways, so it's a lot of fun. Oh yes, Golly, this is for you. Lucky Egg. Golly put the Lucky Egg in his backpack. Giving that Lucky Egg to a Pokemon to hold increases the amount of XP received in battle by a lot. Whoa, oh, sounds like a win to me. Lucky Egg. Hell yeah. I'm giving this to whatever Pokemon I'm training. It'll level them up a lot faster. I'm pumped now. Oh, hell yeah. And I just donkey punched a freaking electric rock. Yes! This is it. This is it. Tynano. This is the Pokemon I'm looking for. And it's level 27, too. I'm surprised. No! No! <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> you 
freaking troll. Why are you such a troll, Pokemon? What? <laughs> oh, I don't know if to be like happy or sad about that. Oh, I found another one right away. This is a female, though. I really don't care. Because the only one I really cared if it was a male or female for was, uh... Was, like, the first one. Hold on, let me use... Shit, I don't want to use Karate Chop. Um... Let's go to Golly Jr. and use... Let's give, uh... Thunder Wave. Oh, shit, that wasn't a good idea. Golly Jr. sucks against electric types. I was just trying to use Quick Attack. Charge Beam. Holy cow! Bag. Uh, status restores. I'm pretty sure I have a few paralyzed heals. I got paralyzed heals for days. I got eight of them after that one. Alright, let's use quick attack. Get the show on the road. Alright, hopefully that should be enough to capture it. Let's see here. Bag. Pokeballs. Ultra Ball, let's go. Golly, used Ultra Ball. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! Dynamo was caught! <laughs> it's a glorious day in Golly Land, folks. While the one alone doesn't have much power, a chain of many Dynamos can be as powerful as lightning. Holy cow! That's some strong-ass electricity voltage. Yes, we are going to name this Pokemon Skid. Yes, we are. You guys wanted it. <laughs> it's happening. Skid. There we go. Alright, let's check Tynamo out. Pokemon. Skid. Summary. Electric, Charge Stone Cave, Meta Level 27, Items, None, let's see its move. Uh, it has Tackle, Decent, Thunder Wave, a weak Electric Charge launched at the target. It causes Paral... Par oh, whoa, 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 I'm gonna use Thunder Wave a lot. And then it has Charge Beam, and Spark. Actually, that's a pretty good move list. Let's see if I have any Electric moves in my bag. I thought I saw one. Oh yeah, I do. Bolt switch. Let's go. Unable? What? How is an electric type Pokemon unable to learn bolt switch? That's ridiculous. Alright, that's, that's fine though. He evolves at level 39 or 40 though. Which is not the best in my opinion because that's going to be annoying, waiting that long for him to evolve. But I have that lucky egg, so I'm going to be able to train him a lot. And uh, it should be pretty good. That's a weak attack. Or it just champs a boss, I don't know. Either one of those is a valid option. Super effective. Champ, use Bulldoze. Sit down, Clink. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing, son. Alright, let's go to the bag. I'm gonna use a super repel since I already have everything that I want. From this cave, I don't really need any more um, Pokemon. Wild Pokemon will just annoy me, so super repel is the way to go. Trainer Jared. What? That's the freaking fossil Pokemon. Holy cow. Alright, let's let's see how uh, how Bulldoze does against it. I'm not sure. Oh, it's flying so it doesn't affect it. That's right. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to use Brick Break. What? Champ fainted, no. No, you troll. You freaking troll. I can't believe I just got one-hitted by this thing. Alright, Bob, time for you to clutch it. What? What? I, like, burped in the middle of me saying what? That was re 
ridiculous. All right, Bob, come on, you gotta use Dig. No, 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 not that again. Oh my God, this thing is taking out all my Pokemon. All right, D-Watt, time for you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, D-Watt. No, yes, yes. I thought that move was gonna kill me there for a second. All right, so I'm basically near the end of my life in this cave because most of my Pokemon are fainted. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a an escape rope really quick and get out to the exit of this. Uh, go to that Pokemon Center and then come back in the cave and do it all over again. Which way? I think it's this way. Yep, here it is. Hey, can you restore my Pokemon again? Yes, you can. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I forgot I still had that repel on, so I shouldn't even have worried about that grass, really. Repel's effect wore off. Well, ain't that something. Let's use another one. There we go. It wouldn't let me kick it the other way for some reason. I had to kick it towards the big rock, I guess. Why are you stalking me? If we can learn about that, I believe that we can get along even better. So apparently she just said the clinks appeared. You know that little electric gear Pokemon I fought like two times? That thing appeared a hundred years ago, she basically just said. You know what, golly, Pokemon are mysterious. I wonder why these amazing little guys stayed by our sides. Okay, that's a that's a real touching story and all, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing. Let's see what's back here. I can't even get through here. No. No. Oh, okay, that's just an extra battle. I didn't know maybe he would give me an item or something because he was just kind of standing there looking into the distance of the cave. Whoa, whoa. Boldor. The hell? Never seen one of those before. Sturdy, ah, okay. It just saved itself with its ability to not get one hit killed. And let's finish it off with a karate chop. Hey Champ for the win. Girder. Switch. I got Golly Jr. to take out Girder. Go Golly Jr. I'm probably not going to get to use that new Pokemon I caught, uh, Skid, until later on. Because right now, I'm just trying to get through this cave basically. And then once I get out of the cave, I'll start using it. Because that'd be pretty pointless to use electric against electric that would be stupid so i'm gonna wait to train it until i get out of the gym i mean out of the cave i would laugh so hard if the next gym is water and i just caught an electric pokemon just in time come these guys are creeps there are stairs going down ahead team plasma is waiting for you there what the hell? Did they really just set this up to try to, uh, try to mess with the Golly Llama? Don't even know what they're doing right now. Whoa! Whoa! Pharaoh Seed? That thing looks weird. I don't know if that's a rock Pokemon or, uh, an electric. Yeah, it's a rock. Okay, so if I use a fighting move against it, it'll do work. Brick Break. Champ, use Brick Break. There we go. Thirty-one. Woohoo! Whoa. 
What? I didn't even move and it got me into a fight with a Pokemon. That's stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's let's uh, let's finish this battle. And then I'm going to go back to using repels because this is getting annoying. Champ, use rock too. There we go. Bag. Repel. Super repel. There we go. Oh god, a trainer. A scientist, actually. You are challenged by Naika. And they have that gear Pokemon I was talking about earlier. It's about to get on, though. Fight. X special. Hmm. That's cute. Oh, I, I should have used the Karate Chop. That's good against Steel, I forgot. Karate Chop! Super effective. Anything over here? I feel like I feel like there might be something good. Pokeball! Iron. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look what all I have in my bag later on, because I got some random stuff like that. Protein that I don't even know what to do with. I think it ups some of your Pokemon stats, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look into that. Nugget? That's not bad, I can sell those for really high prices. Should I go that way, or... Bag. I need more repel. No, 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 not X accuracy. Super repel. It's Team Plasma. Oh no. Alright, this is one of those trainers where if I beat them once, then they'll heal my Pokemon whenever, because it's a doctor. Which is pretty cool. So, I'm definitely going to beat him really quick. Uh, let's try... None of these moves are super effective against Swadloon. Swadloon, whatever. Because it's grass. Let's try Bulldoze. That didn't even do anything. Holy cow. I need to get lucky with Brick Break or something. Karate Chop. There we go. That's a high critical hit ratio. Karate Chop. Aw, you protect yourself like this a bitch, huh? Champ, use Karate Chop. Not very effective. Come on. I'm about to whip out Golly Jr. This is getting annoying. Yeah, screw it, Golly Jr. Get your ass out there. Air Slash. Do it! Super effective. I should have used that from the get-go. Ooh, look at that. Exactly 100 XP. That's cool. Alright, Team Plasma. You about to get a D-Stain. They have no clue what's about to happen. They're like, this punk, he's not going to be able to beat me. I'm on Team Plasma. I steal Pokemon for a living. I'm so boss. Alright, let's use Brick Break. Sit down, Sandile. Next. I'm just killing these Pokemon like an assembly line. This is too easy. Brick Break. Hiya! One hit. I'll be one hitting for days and then some. Level 32. Watchdog. Nope, I'm keeping you out there, champ. You're doing work right now. Brick break. Good job, champ. He just took their whole team out without even taking one hit of damage. That is boss.
He just said, if I beat you, you release your Pokemon. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. And let's use Karate Chop. One hit. Look at all those Team Plasma members up there. Holy cow. There's... I see two more up there after this one. Like, Team Plasma is, like, camped out in this base. Look at that. There's rubbish again. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, put your finger over the T. And then it says rubbish. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why. Random sense of humor. Might as well use Rock Tomb again since I know it's going to kill it. Trubbish fainted. You are rubbish, Trubbish. Leapar. Nope, you're staying out there, champ. Watch this one hit kill. Brick Brick. Why did she get the first move? That's not cool. Champ couldn't move. Champ, use Brick Brick. Yeah. Super effective. That's what I'm talking about. 1500 XP for killing a Leapard. What is this? Bulk up. Let's uh, let's look what bulk up is really quick. Bulk up. Fighting. Raises user's attack and defense. I feel like that'd be a good move, but at the same time, I'm good with my old moves, honestly. Give up on bulk. I'm sorry, bulk up. You are not good enough to be a part of champ's elite all arsenal of moves. It just can't happen. Oh god, I hope I hope these are the last two. I'm getting sick of Team Plasma already. Trubbish. Let's let's give it a nice karate chop to the face. Let it know who's boss. No, it just poisoned me. Champ is poisoned. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Look at its health. Why would it do that again? I'm already poisoned. Derp. Alright, I need to heal that poison. Um, keep battling. I got an antidote, don't worry about it. And then I can use a potion also. So it shouldn't be that much of a challenge. Paralyzed. No, that's not what I wanted. Bag. No, I don't want a Pokeball. I need status restore. Antidote. There we go. Oh god, 11 health. Alright, bag. HP restore. Hyper potion. You know what? I have them. Might as well use them. And there we go. Champ just got like a full reset there. That was nice. And now I'm going to be able to just own the crap out of it. Fight. Let's try Bulldoze. I don't know what else to use against this rubbish. There we go. I should have been using that the whole time. Super effective. Another Trubbish. Well, now that I know what's good against it, I can take it down basically every time. I don't even know what type of Pokemon that is, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, does is that a grass Pokemon? Is that a ground Pokemon? I'm kind of confused. <laughs> Wow! There's still more people of Team Plasma in this cave. Holy cow. Champ is leveling up like a boss this game. This game. You know what I mean, this cave. Like, this is ridiculous. He's just getting, like, XP after XP, and he has that lucky egg on. It's just making him level up that much more. This is too easy, oh my god. Champ, you boss. Well, hey, at least I dodged one of the Team Plasma fights by using my head. Look at that, I just basically walked around that one guy. 
leap hard. This is gonna be a one hit kill. Ah, uh, Karate Hedgehog. And it was a critical hit. 1500 XP. Wow, I wish I had this lucky egg during gym battles. I'd be rolling in XP right now. Thunderstone! Yes! Yes! That is exactly what I wanted too, because the Thunderstone actually helps out a lot. Well, in my case it does. Because, uh... There's that Pokemon that I caught, you know, that electric type Pokemon I caught, named Skid. The final evolution is only available through a Thunderstone, so I'm kind of glad I found that. Because now it's going to be pretty easy to level that up. I don't even know what to use against this Pokemon. Um, screw it, I'm going to switch to D-Watt. D-Watt's going to take him out for sure in one hit. Go, D Watt. I should be training D Watt though, because D Watt's really close to leveling up. Like, look, he's level 32, and he evolves to level 36, I want to say. Yeah, 36. So, yeah. Pretty close, man. Pretty close to evolving. Stud! You stud, you D Watt. And he leveled up. Noise. Aqua Jet. Forget. Let's see what Aqua Jet does. Oh, it only does 40 damage. Are you serious? That is not worth it at all. Screw that. No, keep old moves. Give up. That is definitely not good. Champ's level 35 now. He's my highest level Pokemon. Zeb Striker. What is Zeb Striker? I need to look this one up. Zeb Striker. Oh, that's an electric Pokemon. Okay. Um, switch Pokemon. Do I have anything good against electric? Yeah, I do. I got Champ. Forgot about that. Go, Champ! And let's use Bulldoze. And it should be one hit. Hopefully. I mean, it's level 30, and I'm a level 35. Ah, oh, no! It has like two hit points left. Yeah, buddy! How much XP am I gonna get for this? 2,000, easy. Oh, 1,900! That was over half a level in one battle. That was epic. Alright, where to go? Repel's effect wore off. You know what that means. Time for another repel. No, not X or C. Super repel, there we go. What is this? This lonely Pokeball. Bright powder. That sounds like a narcotic drug. Why is something like that in Pokemon? Hey, trainer. Ace trainer. Hmm, we'll see about all that. Alright, so that's a psychic Pokemon. I'm gonna use Bob for that because Bob is really good against psychic because he's dark. Bob, use Crunch! And, like I said, Bob is a beast. Ducklet. Are you freaking serious? Ducklet? Do I have anything good against water? Oh, yes I do. Yes, I freaking do. I forgot about that. Switch Pokemon. You guys are gonna get to see Skid in battle. Go, Skid! Bite. And, uh, let's use Spark.
<laughs> nice! Such a boss way to start out. Uh, switch Pokemon. Lig... Lilligant? <laughs> what? Oh, this is a grass Pokemon, okay. Do I have anything good against grass? Fire, ice, poison, flying, or bug. Okay, I definitely have Golly Jr. He'll do work against it. Go, Golly Jr. Um, yeah, let's go Air Slash. I think it'll be a one hit. Ah, oh, I was wrong. I should have used Fly. <laughs> At least I made it flinch, so I get to go two times in a row and finish it off just like that. Alright, let's keep moving on here. Hyper Potion. Noise. Rare candy? Did I seriously just go the whole way through this cave for a rare freaking candy? Like that was the big that was the big hidden thing that I was looking for this entire time. I just got trolled the hell out of by this game. Like they made me go through such a long ass fight from Team Plasma to get a rare candy. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. Now, that that fight that I tried to dodge, I'm actually fighting right now. That's a fail. Alright, let's go, Team Plasma Noob. Hugh's about to get owned. They don't even know. They're like, oh god, this champ, this champ Pokemon looks so bad. And then, bam, one hit to the face. Doesn't look so bad now, does it? Watchdog. Yet another type the champ can destroy. Karate Chop! Hiya! And that's another one hit for champ. 36! Damn, I gotta say, champ is bossing through these people. Alright, while I'm here... While I'm here, I might as well, uh... Might as well get that one... Nurse or whatever? Or doctor to revive my health? There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor. I guess I gotta go up these stairs. Whoa, scientist that way. This guy. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Golly, do you have a dream of your own? Yes, I do. You have a dream. That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. Oh, God, I gotta fight this guy again. He wants owned. Alright, here we go. He has four Pokemon. They about to get pwned. Alright, I'm putting it back to normal speed for this battle. It actually means something. Champ. Um, let's use Brick Break. Let's do it. Yeah! Ah, damn it, sturdy ability. Damn you. Protect? I'm about to chop right through that protect. Oh, never mind. It just rose its defense. Nothing big. I can still use Brick Break. Yeah. Good job, champ. Joltik. You know what? Stay out there, champ. You got this. You totally got this. Oh, one hit! One hit, champ! You boss! Pharaoh Seed. I want to see what Pharaoh Seed is. Oh, that's that, uh... Yep, I'm switching Pokemon. 
Alright, D-Watt, time for you to come out. This is that ground Pokemon that I encountered. It looks kind of like an egg with green spikes coming out of it. And D-Watt's a water type, so it should own that pretty easily. Fight. And let's water pulse it. Go, D-Watt! What? You freaking troll. How does that happen? Okay, so apparently this is a rock type, and apparently water isn't good against it, or ground, I'm not sure. But fighting was good against it last time. I think I remember now. So, this should do work, let's see. Yeah, there we go, super effective, one hit kill, that's what I'm talking about. Clink. Yes, I will switch Pokemon. We're bringing Champ out again. Ewok, get back! Go, Champ! Fight. Uh, let's use Brick Break. Champ, use Brick Break! Yeah. And another one hit. Damn, that was too easy. My friend's getting hurt. That's what a Pokemon battle is. Tisk, why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle. As if the as if that could make me worthy to become friends with a legendary Pokemon. Golly. Hey Bianca, you still stalking me? Just a little further to go to Milstration City. And Professor Juniper, what's cracking? Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Golly's voice from that far away. Nope, you weren't hearing my voice from that far away. You were stalking me right behind that corner, don't even lie. Golly, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you talking about? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between people and Pokemon. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules that you can think you understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my, looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon how they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. He mad, bro. He mad. Professor Juniper, well... I didn't expect him to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. Bianca, um, golly, I was going to with Professor Juniper now because I'm her bodyguard. Okay, bye Bianca. You adopted. <laughs> Alright, there are a few more battles in here I kind of want to deal with. Just, you know, get more XP, might as well. Whoa! What?! Winscott, you gotta be kidding me. That is one of the ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen. Straight up. That's just freaking ugly. And uh, his, his Pokemon's level 30, so I'm guessing this is the harder part of the cave now. So actually, it would probably be in my best interest to leave the cave right now after this battle. And call it an episode, and then go train, and get ready for the gym leader in the next town. 1800 XP! Holy shit and a half, dude. That is crazy. Retaliate. Let's see what Retaliate is. Um, Pokemon move list. Retaliate. 70, and it's a normal type move. Inflicts double the damage if a teammate fainted on the last turn. Um, I don't really need normal moves. I'm gonna keep my old moves. Yes, give up on retaliate. Turtub. Uh, keep Pokemon? I don't know. I don't even know what this Pokemon is. Whoa! That looks like some freaking random Pokemon I used to know from the old games. Ladius, I think it was called. I don't know. It looked like that, but like a, a smaller version of it. 
Alright, let's get the hell out of this cave. Finally! Miss Stralton City! Pokemon? No, 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 we're looking at my bag. I need to look at the map. Look at that, there we go. Miss Stralton City! I'm getting pretty far on the map, guys. It's happening. Alright, so let's go to the Pokemon Center. Yes, Nurse Joy. Take my Pokemon! God. Thank you for waiting. Please come again. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, so. That is it for episode... Episode... I think this is episode 7 or 8. Regardless, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to rate it. This is an hour-long episode, so I hope you all, like, enjoyed it. And, uh, stick around for my channel for more video games. And what is this? What? Oh, hey, golly, right? What? I'm famous! I'm famous! Let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So you found 68 Pokemon, eh? Staggering. You've seen Clink. You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me. I was a little excited for my manners. My name is Juniper 2. Cedric Juniper. He he, the professor who gave you that Pokedex is my daughter. That girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to meet you. It's an honor of our meeting. I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. What? Some Pokemon can change forms even when it's in the same evolution. If you have already seen a form, you want to check it with this whenever you want. I also added a function to make searching easier. Professor, who's that trainer? Cedric. Oh, I forgot my introduction. Skyla. This is my friend. Uh, this is a friend of my daughter. Golly is traveling around Unova trying to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Golly. You should challenge this gym. If nothing, if nothing else, this gym is really out there. See ya, Skyla. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Skyla. Okay, just by judging by the name Skyla, I can already tell that this is going to be a flying type Pokemon gym. So you can definitely expect that electric Pokemon I just caught to be doing work in the next episode. Just throwing that out there. It's hard to believe a happy-go-lucky guy like that could be a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Golly, is gym leader. I'd be happy to have you challenge my gym, but there's something I need to take care of first. Just now I was flying the cargo plane and I saw something on top of Celestial Tower. I'm sure that it is a sick Pokemon. If it is, I can't just leave it there. I have to look into this right away. I'm leaving for Route 7 Celestial Tower. Can you, you can come along if you want. Oh god, this is the legendary Pokemon. Guys, this is gonna be freaking awesome. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the legendary yet. I'm not sure. Don't, don't really, like, try to quote me on that because I'm not sure. But, regardless, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up there and meet her there after, uh, after I get my shit together. So yeah, that's uh, that's this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, peace.